What I like most about MHTV and what keeps me here, I think, is helping people get their word out. Because we're the local station, we're the only ones that come out and cover these events and do these things. Our coverage allows people that can't get to an event to be able to see it. MHTV is unique in that it, it does a lot of things. It supports the town, it documents history. First of all, I believe in, in documenting stories. Growing up in a large family, you know, we often, what did my father and mother do when they were young and so forth, so that got interest in me. MHTV has repeatedly been recognized nationally, regionally, locally for overall excellence in public access television. It's because MHTV fosters a sense of community and does that by bringing people together across generations. Marble Head is a very special location. Uh, it doesn't make a difference 350 years ago or today. Our citizens appreciate every bit of knowledge and information that they can get. People are really interested in the town and seeing it move deliberately. The thing that I really like about the Selectman's meetings being televised is that uh, people see us live and they can see our personalities and they can see where we're coming from. You can read about it, but there's something about seeing it, hearing people's voices, seeing their expressions. It ch changes a lot. Marblehead has always had people willing to step up. It's your town, it's government, it's your community, it's your way to interact and enrich the town with your participation and also enrich your own life. MHTV is a, is a 501c3 nonprofit and we like to collaborate with other nonprofits in Marblehead. MHTV uh, helps a lot of different artists. They interview artists, they try to make coverage of artists, and they also come here to the Marblehead Arts Association. The opportunity to create your own show. If you really believe in something, if you have a message, you can be a producer here and get your point across. MHTV uh, has been pretty just fantastic in terms of uh, helping to train myself. Local access television just provides such a, a great forum. For current athletes, it's really cool that we cover as many games as we do and you get to watch the games back. Just to sit down on the couch with your family members and watch the game on Friday night instead of, you know, instead of tuning into the Sox like I'm actually playing on TV on our local TV station. That's pretty cool. MHTV does a tremendous job just to be able to give the credit and give the exposure to our student athletes that are working so hard. MHTV is the only truly local media resource in town. I love the Up for Discussion program because then it gives people an opportunity to editorialize. Uh, I had 50 years in the journalism field. Newspapers, radio, television, and I retired from the Associated Press. The format of uh, Up for Discussion is to, uh, is to feature local journalists. And these are the people who have been covering the stories uh, all week and all month. And then we have all these great students whether they're in high school or college, they aspire to have careers in communication in some way, and this is a great way for them to hone their talents and just get started. I've learned how to do different positions and kind of what goes into making a new show. I've learned how to work with cameras and how to work on stage or off stage. They gain a lot of confidence when they um, start doing the show. It's nice that it focuses just on Marblehead. It's exciting because sometimes you see your friends or your family. So MHTV has given me an awesome opportunity to be a sportscaster for them for the last well, three or four years now. And it's just, it's been a dream come true. I had a woman on, um, Jenna Dolan. And I said, what did you do in the Marines? She says, I was a pilot. Said, pilot? I said, what you fly? She said, I flew the Harrier jet. You flew the Harrier jet? My God, that's when, when, oh, in combat. She was the first Marine woman to qualify in combat on a Harrier jet. And she was on this show. And that's history.